What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel, it's the Reclusive Gamer. And once again, I am back in lo-fi. This time I am using the Oculus Quest 3. There was a new update for this game as well, so I figured, you know what, this is a perfect time, the perfect opportunity to seize and check this out on my new headset. So without further ado, here we go. I'm gonna just start a new career again. All right, here goes. Wow, and it looks pretty damn good on the Meta Quest 3. I'm impressed. Just as good, almost just as good as the HP Reverb G2. Seems a bit smoother. And I'm noticing a slight increase in FOV actually. This is always one of my favorite parts of this game is taking a ride through this Blade Runner-ish vehicle here. I decided to use the FSR so I can get maybe a slight bump or increase in performance because I'm recording in 4K again. This game just looks so damn pretty that I, you know what, I, I have to film with a 4K. Alright, I'm not going to spend too much time in that police precinct. Because I'm going to be honest with you, that area is getting a little too boring for me. Maybe I'll check out some places I haven't 
or that I didn't visit yet in my last playthrough. I'll start from the right side of the map this time. I'm noticing one thing, one thing that I don't like about the Meta Quest 3 is the microphone quality is horrendous. Uh, I don't know if anybody, if anybody watched my previous video with the unboxing, but if you notice later in the video, during the gameplay especially, and even the unboxing, how poor the sound quality was with my voice and the microphone. So. Um, I changed to my ant line this time, but the problem is I can't use the ant line with the Meta, the Meta Quest 3 because I don't have that magnetic thing. I don't have an extra uh, magnetic clip that you kind of attach. It's got like a, a bit of like adhesive that you can kind of glue onto the side of your HMD. I don't have any more of those, so I'm going to try to find a way to see if I can order more. But uh, I am using the ant line right now, but the only way I can use it is on my Logitech uh, G35. So I'm wearing over-the-ear headphones this time. It's st they're still good, though. They're still very good. Uh, but I got used to the earbuds, the Logitech fits. So, yeah, the G35s, they're, they're good because they're bassy. They pack a lot of punch, especially the sound. Oh, yeah, actually. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, the the performance is, is a bit better. I'm shocked, especially because I'm filming in 4K. But also, I'm using FSR. So I'm not going to spend too much time in this area. I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough. Good day, officer. And uh, no, no psyche valve today. Let me visit my favorite NPC. See how she's doing. What can I do for you, Sheriff? And she's looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed as usual. She's got a lot of expression in her eyes. I just love the way her gaze kind of follows you around whenever you move. All right. Test out. Okay, good. I can pick things up. I'm using the MetaQuest Pro controllers. By the way. What's this? Uh, I'll go to the gun range for a second. Now, the performance could be a little better. Just the 4K thing. How can I help you, officer? Oh, okay. Forgot how to... Yeah, I forgot how to reload. <laughs> oh, well. Well, so much for that. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna check out a couple of places that I haven't been to. Or that I didn't visit my last playthrough. Shadows. Shadow qualities. Seems like it's improved. Greetings, officer. Uh, hope I don't I don't get a copyright claim or a strike like the last time. 
So, Deb, if you're watching this, please, can you, like, not put any music in this game where content creators are going to get, you know, copyright claims, please? I don't know. All right, I'll start from the right. I, uh, it wants me to go there. I don't want to go there. I want to go here. Lay Circus. Yes. Okay. It's a lot of... I don't know. I don't like the fog effect, so... It's not very clear. But what the hell is that? Okay. Huh. Interesting. I'm gonna move to play Cyberpunk again. Maybe I'll play that next. I don't hear my I don't hear my footsteps though when I'm when I'm moving. A little weird. Maybe it's some kind of Halloween theme or something. That looks so cool. Wow. Man, there's not much here. Shit. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, damn. Oh, this is, yeah, this is gonna be nauseous. All right, I'm steering with my the right stick of my controller, my hand controller. And to accelerate is the right trigger. Okay, the left trigger is brake, naturally. I don't know. I think it would make more sense if I can steer with, my, with the left stick instead of the right. I wonder if the HOTUS would work on this. Probably would. I haven't used the HOTUS in a while. I'm thinking about trying it out again on Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I also want to jump back into the DCS.
Kind of reminds me of F Zero. I don't know if y'all remember that that game. I remember that from like the Super Nintendo days. Yes, I'm old. That's it. Okay. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> All right, auto nav. All right. Uh, I I'll check out the wastelands if I can reach over there. This is kind of awkward for me. I'm gonna end up touching my computer. Yeah, I'm not enough room here. I'm probably not going to be able to do new, new Kowloon because I have too much stuff that's in the way. Let's move back, move my chair back. And the next time I go to the navigation menu, I'll be able to, and what, what the hell is this? Oh, man. Okay. No. What? are weird yeah you really need a HOTUS uh, I don't even know how to fix my me reset view that might do it let's see all right yeah that did it let me try it one more time reset view Yeah, I'm, the yaw is on the right stick, so when I turn right, it turns like that, and the left stick is to actually, to actually turn. Yeah, this is the spin, it's called the yaw. Alright, up it is down, down it up, which I like. Use that. I always had to play games with the Y axis inverted. And there's not much here. So that's why they call it Wasteland. Ah, alright. It's like No Man's Sky. I can actually pretend that I'm using the HOTUS.
everything's so dusty. Very poor visibility. I park on top of that thing, that structure over there. No, I don't think so. There would be a holographic landing thing. I can note that I can. I can land. It's not showing so. Unless, wait a minute. Not working. There's a feature, I think you could tap the side of your HMD and it would turn the heads up display on and you can sort of see which objects and areas you can go to and interact with. It's not working. Maybe, ah, okay, I see something up right in front of me. It's got like a target symbol. Maybe that's where I can go to land, I think. I hope. You know, when I'm in mood to play, I think I'm going to check out uh, Rogue Squadrons. I haven't played that in ages. I want to play with my HOTUS, though. But I've been having so many problems with that game. Crashing all the time. I don't know what it is. What's going on with EA. But yeah, it's messed up. Cannot play that game. And if you're reading the comments section, the discussion section, on the store page, everyone's saying the same damn thing. Yeah, that's such a rotten company. The, one of the worst companies ever is, uh, is EA. Okay, yeah, I, it is... It's a landing site. I think. Ah. All right. What's this? Oh. Okay. I guess, um... Back to the regular area, except... I'm in some kind of free roam mode. Ah! Alright. Alright, I see. some targets here. There it is. Okay. That's where I can land. It sets, maybe this is New Kowloon. Yep, stop. All right, I'm getting the hang of it.
It's a Wing Chun dummy. Used to have one of these. Took martial arts for years since I was like seven. Wish I could get back into it, but too old. Too injured. Oh, who's this? Fei Chang? Fei Chang? I swear the Chinese, they always say Fei Chang and everything. I forgot what that means. I think it means extremely or very or something. Actually, my first language I learned was Cantonese as a kid, but forgot a lot of it. Studied a little bit of Mandarin. Jade Circuit. I forgot what this place is. Let me see. Yeah, I remember this place. This personality here, she doesn't she still doesn't talk. Tell me about your services. See if she has a voice. I doubt it. No voice. Yeah, let me turn this off. Fucking copyright claim. The textures look really good in here. It's like a 3D printer or something. No, I'm out of here. Friendly, isn't it? A pleasure doing business with you. Later. A lot of bloom. Can't go in there. Another Sex beautiful shop. day in the big city. Enjoy the rest of your day. Crime scene, huh? I'm top of the line, baby. What are you doing down there? Hey, it's Ivy. How you doing, Ivy? What you just call me? Response to Oh, happy robot. Okay. <laughs> uh, I recognize that song. Please queue up to receive service. Established in 2024 as a joint venture between the government and Medicorp, the Happy Robot office these and sell charges for scrap electronics and white products. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, 
I'm impressed with the Quest 3. It looks really good. I'm telling you, it's it's I think in some ways it it's better than the reverb G2. I hate to admit that, but it is. Check out one more place and I'm gonna call it a night. Yeah, the last my last playthrough, I uh, I checked out all these places already. Except Midtown, except Midtown apartment. So I'm just gonna go to Midtown apartment and then. All quits. Welcome to the luxurious Skyworks apartment. The jewel of block 303. Please feel free to look around. You won't be disappointed. Not disappointed at all. This place looks great. The lighting's impressive. Ah, that's another Wing Chun dummy. Guys, this looks amazing. The view is breathtaking. Very good job, Dev. You did a wonderful job. Welcome to the luxurious Skyworks apartment. The jewel of block 303. Please feel free to look around. You won't be disappointed. Game is making me miss playing Cyberpunk 2077 in VR. I wonder how uh, how it's going in terms of progress with Luke Ross. He's probably working hard on getting his VR mod up and running again. Could still use his mod though, but I would have to revert the. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077's EXE file, I would have to downgrade it back to patch 1.67. But I don't want to do that. I bought Phantom Liberty, which I... I gotta start playing these games. I haven't even touched it. Yeah, I'll, def I'll probably play that next. And that is it. Uh, you know what? I'll just go to the old tech tower. Because it's flashing on the wall. I'll stop there. And I'll end it. From that location. Love those god rays.
all these colors is just incredible. It seems to have improved. Well, then again, it's the FSR. looks so beautiful on this headset I have the resolution maxed out completely by the way so yeah uh, I owe must uh, I owe most of it or much of it to no fine. having a friggin 4090 and plus with the yeah with the Meta quest app I have a crack to 1.5 super sampling at 90 hertz and what is it I forgot the combined resolution but it's it's maxed out I can't go any further yeah this looks even better than the reverb I'm not I'm not kidding All right, I'll check out the arcade and then I'll call it quits. Search local area.
All right, that is it, everybody. I am out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video. If anybody's interested, check this game out. I'll, as usual, I'll post a link in the video description. And uh, yeah, you can check it out. It costs about 35 bucks, give or take. But in my honest to God opinion, I think it's worth it. Shit, if he was asking for $40, I'd pay for it. I mean, this game is that good looking that pretty so if you have a high-end VR headset and a high-end forming PC or GPU yeah you're you're really gonna enjoy this game well not really a game more like a tech demo experience but it's well worth it all right with that said I'm out of here as always consider liking and subscribing if you enjoy my content all right, with that said, I'm out of here. Have a great night, guys. Bye-bye.